Hello everybody and welcome to the face reading of the people in the news. For those of you who are with me for the first time, if you get interested in the subject of face reading, you can watch my YouTube's Introduction to Face Reading and Face Reading 101. You can also buy my book, Face Reading for Successful Relationships. It's available on Amazon.com. Today we'll be talking about Michael Jackson, one of the greatest musical phenomena, creative geniuses, adored role models and human tragedies of the second part of the 20th century. Here he is, uh, Michael Jackson. As the face readers, we're interested in the many faces that we know of as Michael Jackson. Because, as you may know, as his face was dramatically changing year after year, plastic surgery after plastic surgery, so did his personality. Uh, we know that the word personality comes from the Greek persona, meaning mask. Here is the man who sold 750 million albums holding the mask of his own face. How sad and erroneous it is indeed. The man whose face became a mask is holding a mask of his mask. And I wonder if at the time the picture was taken, he was at all in touch with the persona face, which was under the mask, covered by yet another mask. So let us start our journey in discovering the met metamorphosis of Michael Jackson. We'll start with Joseph Jackson. Michael and some of his siblings said that they had been physically and psychologically abused by their father. It is not that uncommon those who were severely abused in their childhood develop various disorders related to their relationship with their body. You see, if one is abused and cannot confront the abuser, that is, cannot change one's environment to better, one is compelled to change oneself, with the unconscious hope that to better uh, fit in one's environment, one must change oneself physically. And that was um, the case of Michael, who I believe was suffering from what's called BDD, body dysmorphic disorder, which is a mental disorder characterized by an obsessive preoccupation that some aspect of one's own appearance is severely flawed and warrants uh, exceptional measures to hide them or fix them. Here is Michael at a young age. Does something strike you about his face. Look again. Big, big eyes. Big inner face. Remember, uh, if the inner face is small compared to the outer face, a person is insensitive or detached. When the inner face is too big for the outer face, a person is overly sensitive. Here you can see that Michael's inner face was very large. So, from early on, he was taking in a lot and the abuse that possibly was tolerated by other siblings was overwhelming to him. He more than likely suffered for himself and felt a lot of pain for his siblings because everybody was abused. The shape of his face was Venus, meaning that he was reconciliatory, wanted to make peace at all costs, he was a charmer in, interested in attention, beauty, and material things. But look what happened by the time uh, Michael became a teenager. The sharp angles appeared on the shape of his face, and he was morphing into a what? Yeah, into a Mars. So by the age of 16, 17, or what was he, maybe 18, he was ready for a fight. He had less patience, as the Mars did not care about being attractive to others or being appropriate. He was on a war path. And knowing his family history, we can assume that he was ready to rebel against his father. But that was when all this ended. Around that time, the fighting spirit also disappeared. Later, when we look at Michael's profile, his 
temperament, his uh, energy type, we may better understand why he ran out of his Mars, Mars fighting spirit. Uh, instead of fighting the war with the outside, Michael began a fight with perfecting himself. Call it anger turned inward. And the era of plastic surgery, uh, unfortunately, began. Uh, the period that only ended with Michael's death. At times, his face looked like a mask. More mask than a real face. But remember, under the mask uh, that was covering another mask, and another mask was a real, very sensitive and uh, confused person. Look at this. Doesn't it look like a Halloween mask? He remodeled his nose. The nose, remember, the pillar of strength. He gave up his beautiful, powerful African nose with the tip, a round tip of the nose. Uh, remember, it means natural kindness. For what? For a short nose, meaning anxiety, with the tip turned up, meaning impatience. He remodeled his eyebrows. Eyebrows tell us about the energy level. Look from left to right. As a boy, he started with the healthy, full, curved eyebrows. Later, they became triangular, meaning that Michael was learning to become a diplomat or a trickster. And on the picture on the right, Michael was already in his 30s. His eyebrows were severely plucked, or plucked out and thinned out naturally, either or. If he plucked them out, it means that he voluntarily depleted his own energy. If they fell out, it means his energy was drained because of self-doubt. And yet another interesting feature, Michael's chin. As you can see in his youth, he did not have a cleft on his chin. As he did all these so-called surgeries, the cleft is created for him. The cleft means a feeling of self-importance. But he did not grow up naturally developing a feeling of self-importance. It was implanted into him overnight, so to speak. Since we are on the subject of the chin now also, let's look at Michael's profile and see what was done with the chin in addition. Uh, as you can see, the corner of his jaw was not a perfect 90 degrees sanguine, but nevertheless sanguine. But look at the tilted forehead and the receding chin here. The forehead and the chin were clearly nervous. So we have a te temperamentally a nervous with a sanguine chin. For those of you who have my book, in chapter 7 you will find the combination called S. And S. Here, on this picture, he is a little older, but the same profile. So temperamentally, he came into this world as a person who was intellectual, the quickest mind of all, energetically short distance runner, though with a little more energy than a typical nervous, because remember of his sanguine corner of the jaw. He needed breaks from activity and five, six meals a day. He was hypersensitive hyperactive, charming, in need for what we call six A's, attention, acknowledgement, appreciation, awards, approval, and admiration. He was very creative, but also could be moody and pessimistic. Conserving energy and using it in the right measure was the key to his success in any effort. But look what happened when they changed his chin. They built it up. And here he was magically transformed into what? Into, yes, a bilious. And what happened to the tilted forehead? That's the miracle of Botox. Now we have uh, an almost pure bilious in his will, drive, and commitment, but not in energy, of course. Remember, his sanguine corner of the jaw. It's not bilious. And even this biliousness is artificial. It was just built up again overnight. Uh, the corner of the jaw, you see, is clearly sanguine. So we have here the will, the artificial drive of the bilious, and the energy of the sanguine. 
which could not or who could not keep up of course with the constant demands of the planner and the door bilious because it's really not bil real bilious particularly with the newborn bilious really did not know himself not energetically and not personality wise so no wonder that michael needed to live on painkillers which eventually killed him he needed to numb the physical pain and what about mental pain and the confusion which came from so many quick changes that his energetic and emotional systems could not keep up with. Of course, I will not claim that I have the full knowledge or even understanding of why he had to leave this world so soon. But from morphological perspective, all those artificial changes that Michael attempted to make were disaster waiting for a place and time to happen. And they possibly were one of the components that led to his premature end. Yes, we'll remember his beautiful face and creative genius that Michael Jackson was. The music, the dance, the passion. And let us also remember the lessons we can learn from his rich, poor and tragic journey. And that is all for Michael Jackson. Thank you for being with me today. Peace to all who want to live in peace.